Hey, how about Ho Hoyle Summit? <laughs> The exterior of this super adobe building is completed. It has already been decided to use a radiant heat floor, but what materials should be used for the subfloor? We could have a cement truck dump some cement through the window, put it in here. We could just make our own cement. We could do earthen floor. How about soil cement? Hey, I got an idea. We put glass and we can fill it up with water. We can put little goldfishies down in there. Dad, soil cement. Soil cement. How about soil cement? Yeah! 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 Do you guys know how to do soil cement? Vicky worked for several years for a company that used soil cement. The family goes to talk with her. Hi, Hello, Vicky. Hello. Wait, I used to work for a large water supplier in California. And if we had to cross a wash or some unstable sandy soil that wouldn't hold up, we would use that to keep the ditch from collapsing. And I got to thinking maybe we could use it out here. It's less expensive than putting a concrete foundation or having a cement floor in a building or if you want a more rustic look, it's a lot cheaper because you're using a lot less cement. Soil cement is a great idea. The family heads home to make a plan. A quick internet search revealed soil cement is made of one half inch cement to three and a half inches of soil for a total depth of four inches. Mix with a rotor tiller while you're spraying it with water. Tamp it down and cure it for several days. Now for the radiant heat, the tubing is 5 8 oxygen barrier PEX. It enters the building, serpentines throughout the floor at a depth of 3 inches and exits near its entrance. Enough planning, it's time to get started. The tubing is temporarily laid out. At the starting point, the tube is placed through the wall. Outside the building, it looks like this. Back inside, Garen is loosening up the dirt floor with the rototiller. A little spray of water dampens it. The guys use shovels to get where the tiller cannot reach. Oh, where it can't go, the edges. Time to throw the cement on. Again, Garen grabs the rotor tiller to mix it up. And a little more water is added. Now the guys insert tubing into the ground. They dig trenches and walk the tubing right into place. The end of the tube gets placed through the wall. Back on the outside, Bryson is there to catch it. With the radiant tubing installed, it's time to compact the soil cement. But with no room for a steamroller, Gary and Bryson find another way. Gary works to level out the floor. The floor has to cure slowly, so it's wet down periodically over the next few days. <laughs> After several days, the floor is ready. To finish the floor surface, the guys will add a thin layer of earthen floor. But that's for another day. First, someone has to figure out how to deliver hot water through the tubing. Oh.